Hey, Rock for Jake here. Today I'm joined by Jocelyn and Vic with the Ethnic Heritage Museum. How are you two doing? Really good, thank you. Fantastic. So you guys have uh, an event, an exhibit that's coming up, but before we dive into that, for those that are not familiar, tell me a little bit about the Ethnic Heritage Museum. So the Ethnic Heritage Museum is actually part of the Heritage Museum Park. We're a historical corridor located here on South Main in Rockford. Um, we have a parking lot right on the corner of Main and Morgan, so it's a per perfect place to come and stop by on the weekend. Um, on our court, the campus here, we have the Graham Genestra House. It's a historical home built in 1857. And also, so in the Ethnic Heritage Museum, it consists of six ethnic galleries. So we have the African American Gallery, Irish, Italian, Hispanic, Lithuanian, and Polish. Um, and Last March, before COVID uh, hit, our very last event was the Hispanic Woman of the Year of Linda Zuba. Nice. And now we are finally kicking up our exhibits and our events again, starting things off with another Hispanic event. Super exciting. And so tell me about what uh, people can expect here with this exhibit. Uh, so it's an exhibit uh, it's not so much a history, but it's a very, very good look at the inside world of Mexican music from Rockford. Um, posters, pictures, music, uh, musical media like 8-tracks, records, cassettes will all be on display and also be uh, playing uh, during the visit. A lot of posters that were handmade and printed here in Rockford that haven't seen the light of day in about 30 years will be on <laughs> wow. display. Yeah, they were stored. Uh, posters that you would see on street corners, uh, Mexican stores, electrical boxes um, will be on display. Uh, several photos dating back to the 1950s, to the 70s, 80s, and 90s will be on display. So um, pretty cool, pretty exciting. We're yeah. gonna be sharing a lot of Mexican history that's very specific to Rockford, to this neighborhood and uh, very excited to uh, present it here with the, the museum. It's the perfect place for it. It's the perfect time for it. And we just hope everyone can come out and enjoy and learn and, and get back into socializing and, <laughs> right. and, uh, and, and learning and just having a good time. That's awesome. And so when is the, when is the event? The event is May 29th, which is a Saturday. It'll be from 12 afternoon to four in the afternoon. Uh, we'll also have a food truck out there. Um, there's plenty of space in the museum, in the exhibits, to walk around freely. The campus will be open. The Grand Genestra House, excuse me, Grand Genestra House will also be open. And uh, hopefully it's just a nice, sunny, warm, perfect day to come out to the museum and have a good time. Awesome. Well, it sounds like a wonderful time. And congratulations on like kicking off your first event here in 2021. That's super exciting. And uh, thank you for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, if uh, you want to get in touch with like the Hispanic history of Rockford. I think it's super cool that it's like so strongly tied to the community. It's not like a broad historical topic or context. It's like it's things uh, that are part of the Rockford culture right here in our own backyard. So uh, definitely come down and check it out. You said it's May. May 29th. 29th from noon to four. Uh, I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to highlight local events like the exhibit here down at the Ethnic Heritage Museum and bring you all this 815 positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them and we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye Rockford. <laughs>